Let's write this fraction as a decimal. We will round to the nearest thousands if necessary. So remember the fraction bar means division. We will simply divide the denominator into the numerator. So I'll divide 17 into 16. Let's go ahead and put a decimal point and some zeros. I'll insert more zeros if needed. And here's the decimal point then in the quotient. So 17 will not divide into 16, but it will divide into 160. Since it was so close there, I'm going to guess 9 times. 9 times 7 is 63. Carry the 6. 9 times 1 is 9, plus 6 is 15. So I have 160 minus 153. I know that's 7. Bring down the 0. How many times does 17 go into 70? Well, I knew 2 times 17 is 34, so I'm going to guess 4 times. 4 times 7 is 28. Carry the 2. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6. And then I'll have a remainder of 2. Bring down the next 0. How many times does 17 divide into 20? That would be 1 time. 1 times 17 is 17. Subtract we have a remainder of 3. I don't believe this is going to go evenly, at least through the next place value. So let's carry this one more place value, and then I'll round to the nearest thousands. Now notice I don't talk about this much, but each time you should be checking to see that your remainder is less than your divisor. All right, so I'll bring down one more zero all the way down there. How many times does 17 divide into 30? Well, it will divide one time, right? Because two times would be 34, and that would be too much. I'm not even going to carry this out, because I'm now going to round to the nearest thousands. Here's the thousands place. I look at this digit to its right, because it's less than 5. I do not add 1 to this digit, so it'll be approximately 0, decimal point, 9, 4, 1. That's a decimal approximation of our fraction.